Breaking news here at Color 10 Midday. A building on the Ozark Square in Ozark collapsed this morning, causing the square to be evacuated. Welcome to Color 10 News Midday at 11. I'm Jesse Inman. This is what's left of that building after it collapsed earlier this morning, just a few hours ago in Ozark. Color 10's Joshua Pineda is there at the scene for us right now after speaking to a city official just a few minutes ago. Josh, what have you learned? Well, Jesse, at 8.30 this morning, this building behind me, which houses Adventure Coffee along with two, lo with two lofts on top of the coffee shop, collapsed. Now, there was one person at the, Adventure coffee, at the Adventure Coffee Shop who was working at the time, but they were able to make it out okay. There are no reported injuries at the time. Ozark Police and the Fire Department are here at the scene looking for more evidence as to what happened this morning. The Ozark Police Quarters is just uh, down the road from the square, so officials were able to get here pretty quick. Utility workers are also here at the scene cutting off power and gas to ensure the safety of everyone here at the Strip. Now, I talked to one lady who's been coming to Adventure Coffee for years. After seeing the building collapse, she's just glad nobody was hurt. So, fortunately, no, apparently nobody's hurt, and that's a good thing. But there goes our morning coffee after we paid our taxes. I'm sad because I just think the square is so amazing, and it's. I'm sorry that this has happened because... It won't be the same. Ozark Assistant Fire Chief Aaron Heaton said their main concern now is the structural integrity of the building. There are people who live in the lofts next to the building that collapsed. Heaton said they could return in two hours or they could return in two days. They don't know yet because their main concern is the structural building. Now we'll continue to bring you updates on OzarksFirst.com as long as, along with our five and six, six o'clock newscasts. Reporting in Ozark, I'm Joshua Pineda, Ozarks First. All right, Josh, thanks. Something we'll follow up on as the day progresses here on Color 10 News.